Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends this is Gunjan here now when you play d4 you expect your opponent to play either king's indian defense or the queen's gambit decline or the slav system but how often you have to face this move which is e5 this will be the case especially when you are playing quick chess or the bullet chess people who play e5 are two kind of people the first one are very attacking people probably attacking maniac where they wants to sacrifice a pawn for the rapid fast development and the second kind of people are very lazy people who actually do not want to study the theory of the big openings and just want a quick recipe get out of the opening now the problem from the white perspective is white knows this opening is unsound but somehow if you least expected this opening and especially if you are not prepared against this opening then there are every chance that you get wrong in this opening so join with me and learn how to diffuse this tricky gambit now the good points are i have covered every single systems of the black and added bonus to that we have a universal system so it will be a easy for you to remember to diffuse this gambit okay here i certainly recommend we should take this pawn so d cross e5 and here black has a two genuine reply now as usual in my video i will cover the sideline first and the first sideline we are going to cover is this move which is d6 now this is known as a black burn heart lop gambit and here what black is expecting is white to take the pawn so the bishop comes out very much freely a uh, black has a very free piece development for a one pawn well certainly white will be not as much as cooperative and here i want to mention one golden rule now whenever black offer the second pawn you never take the pawn so please remember this you never take the second pawn unless and until there is a specific compensation okay here i'm recommending you play knight to f3 now if your opponent play knight to c6 then it will be deviate to a main line but the most played other move is bishop to g4 now idea is very simple black wants to capture the knight and then he wants to regain the pawn well here you play bishop to f4 so developing a piece with defending a pawn and here there are two good replies from the black if black play knight to c6 then we will play knight to c3 where at first side it looks like white has given up the pawn so for example black can take this knight and after e cross f3 black can regain the pawn but the whole idea of the white is to get a very good positional advantage so white will continue here with the queen to e2 so now you can see two pieces are attacking the pawn and the most logical reply from the black will be bishop to d6 afterwards white will castle on the queen side now you can see the advantage of the white so not only white has a two open file to work out the attack but white has a bishop pair to boot so i'm not going further from here onwards you can uh, analyze by your own and all i can say it's a very good position to play as a white okay the other good move black can play at this point is bishop takes f3 and there's a very tricky idea by black so when white recapture the bishop black can play this attacking system starting with the move g5 now you can see it's attacking the bishop and the once the bishop goes to the g3 black can play this move which is bishop to g7 now you can see this bishop is spinning this pawn so if white take the pawn then the rook in the corner will be hanged after bishop cross b2 but white has a very good reply which is taking the pawn and calling the black bluff and of course black will take the pawn so bishop takes b2 and the idea of the black is if white take the c7 pawn so for example d cross c7 then black will simply exchange the queen and after king recapture black can play knight c6 and as far as i can see white will be a piece down so what is the whole idea of capturing the pawn well i give you a few seconds can you find a uh, amazing move order where you can win outright okay our move order start 
with the move queen to e2 plus and now black has a two reply if the king goes to the d7 then the simple answer will be queen to b5 check and you can see white can nab the bishop so that's not possible and if most logical reply by the black will be king to f8 but here first we'll grab the pawn so you can see now it's attacking the queen and the knight and the only sensible reply is queen to c8 but afterwards bishop check and king to g7 white has a a complete reputation move which is queen to b5 and see there are so many threats over here the first threat is white wants to capture the bishop the second threat is white any movement white can capture this knight and third which is the most dangerous one which is queen wants to capture this pawn and that will leads to the checkmate so for example if black foolishly take the rook then this leads to checkmate so that leads to the only reply left for the black which is bishop goes back to f6 but now white can simply grab the knight in the corner and after rook takes again we'll take the rook and after queen takes white can play c3 and you can see white emerge with a rook up in this position so this is one of the good trap exist in this line please remember this trap if your opponent play uh, g5 and bishop to g7 okay so that is a one side line which can be occurred in this opening the main line start with the move knight to c6 and again we'll play knight to f3 now here black has a three genuine reply let's take out the rubbish first so the first move black can play is this move which is knight g to e7 and this variation is known as a zubomich variation which the name has been given after the famous usa chess player the idea is very simple knight wants to go to g6 and regain the pawn and black will emerge with a superior position here i'm recommending a universal approach start with the move knight c3 so you will see this move often against all the system from the black the general line continues with the knight to g6 so now two pieces are attacking the pawn but white has a very very good reply which is bishop to g5 the most logical reply of the black will be bishop to e7 but after bishop takes bishop queen takes bishop white has a stunning reply which is knight to d5 it's not only attacking the queen but it's also eyeing at the c7 square where knight can fork the king and rook so the black has to forcefully retrieve the queen to d8 white has set up a trap over here so for example any knight can capture the pawn then after we will exchange the one pair of knight and after black recapture white has a very good reply which is queen to c3 now you can see it's these two pieces are attacking the c7 square and not only that this queen is also attacking the knight and the most logical reply of the black will be knight backs to c6 but then g7 hangs and queen will simply take the pawn and after rook to f8 at least white can have this move knight to f6 and where the black king will be misplaced and please note in this position white is pawn up so it's completely unplayable for the black so the most logical reply here after queen to d2 is to castle by the black well against this you can also say this is one kind of blunder move by black and the very good reply of the white will be queen to g5 and now you can see not only it's attacking the queen but now the c7 pawn will be unguarded you can see we have by this models we have completely refute the zubomich variation and that's why nowadays nobody play this variation the second move second response of the black at this position will be to play again gambiting the pawn so starting with the move d6 and hoping that white will take the pawn well against this white has a very aggressive reply which start with the move bishop to g5 and you can see <laughs> it will be a very very hard struggle for the black and here black has a four reply 
let's look at each by turn if very initial bishop to e7 then afterwards we'll take the bishop and after knight captured bishop we can simply grab the pawn so this is one of the case where you can grab the pawn and you can see if the queen recapture the pawn then we can capture the queen and then black will have isolated pawn so in one of my game my opponent plays c cross d6 but you can see not only black has created a weakness on d6 but white is a pawn up so white will be have a good game from here onwards let's took the other option where instead of bishop to e7 black can play this move f6 but again we can simply recapture the pawn and if the knight takes f6 then white will be simply a pawn up for nothing and if g cross f6 then simply we can play bishop to f4 and a simple line runs like this so in one of my game my opponent played knight to e7 i played knight to c3 he played bishop to e6 i played e4 and after queen to d7 queen to d2 he castle king's queen side and i, I castle queen side please note there is no need to go opposite side castle because white is a pawn up so all you need to do is play it safe exchange pieces one by one and at the end you will be a pawn up and see right now at this position not only white is a pawn up but black has a shattered pawns on the king side so initially i won this game so that will give you a rough idea how you can handle these positions now instead of f6 black can play this move which is knight g to e7 but again against this we can simply capture the pawn and after black recapture we have very much easy to play plan so we have a ready made target over here and i have shown by the arrows how we can exploit this so for example this knight can go to i from c3 to b5 this bishop can come to the f4 and then queen goes to the d2 and the rook comes to the d1 and all the pieces will lining up to the d6 and that d6 will be fall sooner or later so that is knight g to e7 and if black does not want to surrender his pawn structure then black has to play this move which is queen to d7 good merit about the queen to d7 it's hanging on to the pawn but the bad thing is this bishop has been locked in so it will take an ages to come out and this will be a very good compensation for the white so for example here we certainly take the pawn and after bishop to d6 we can play knight to c3 and after knight to e7 this has happened in one of my game i played e4 my opponent castle on the king side i played bishop to d3 and after knight to g6 i played castle on the king side and after knight f4 bishop takes bishop takes g3 and bishop to d6 knight to d5 you can see how long this bishop was in prison because of this stupid queen and not only that white emerged with a pawn up now the third option for the black will be queen to e7 and this variation is known as a england gambit now against this white has a some of the very good reply starting with the move bishop to f4 and bishop to g5 but here i propose you play knight to c3 and again just like in our last variation after black recapture the pawn this time the bishop on f8 will be in prison so i show you one of my game which will give you an idea or how you can exploit this one of the slight advantage of the white here i played e4 my opponent responded with the knight to f6 i played bishop to f4 so now two pieces are attacking the knight he simply defended with d6 but after queen to d4 please remember this queen deployment because not only our queen is centralized but our three pieces are attacking the knight so finally my opponent give up his central knight with my passive looking knight so i recapture with the g pawn and please note at this position if your opponent play c5 then our queen can go back and we can castle on the queen side and targeting this d6 square so very obviously my opponent play bishop to d7 but after i castle on the queen side to his horror he realize 
that he cannot go to the queen side because the it a7 pawn hangs so he changed the plan and he played g6 but you can see the white development is so much good and black king is stuck in the center all just because of this stupid looking queen e7 and here i converted my development into the winning potential so here i played knight to b5 attacking the two pawns so my opponent captured the knight and once i recaptured the bishop he played c6 but this is a big mistake and i give you a few seconds can you explore a winning continuation by the white okay the winning continuation of the white start with the move e5 and please note black cannot capture the bishop if black foolishly captured the bishop then we have e cross d6 so now you can see our queen is attacking the knight and also our pawn is attacking the queen so queen has to go only one square but after this we have rook h e1 check and after king to d7 we have a very amazing reply which is rook to e7 check and black king will not survive longer so that's why bishop takes is impossible in the game my opponent plays d cross e5 but after that i recapture with the bishop and now you can see two pieces are attacking the knight and here he first gave me a check i don't know what's the difference it makes i park my king in the corner then he played bishop to g7 after a few calculation i found out this amazing continuation i give you few seconds can you find a amazing continuation for the white okay let's start with the move bishop to d6 and now you can see the queen cannot come to the e6 otherwise it will be uh, pinned against the rook so my opponent play queen to d7 but after rook h even check king goes to the only square which is d8 i played this move which is again rook to e7 he played queen to f5 but after bishop to c5 if my opponent plays nice to d5 then the bishop on on the g7 will hangs and afterwards rook on the h8 will hang so my opponent decided to play king to c8 but after that i played this move which is queen to d6 now i'm threatening to give a checkmate on c7 and after the last move he played knight to d5 i simply snap off that knight and here he resigned so this is a one system which serves me very well and the good thing is it's very easy to learn and it's very easy to diffuse and many lines you can see not only white has a good position but white will remain upon up i hope you enjoy and learn how to diffuse this tricky gambit feel free to comment and i'll meet you soon bye